Most people looked at John and Grace Richards as the perfect couple. They were the epitome of success in their town. They both had good jobs, and from the outside, they were the family that everyone in their town wanted to be. Looks can be deceiving, however, and in the case of the Richards, there was something unknown behind the scenes, which would shock those around them. The story begins with Grace noticing that her husband John was talking to the babysitter in a rushed and hasty way. What could be happening? And what were her husband and the babysitter up to? She had to make a plan to find out. Grace and John were known as the perfect couple. She was a real estate agent, and he was a lawyer, both successful in their chosen careers. They were ecstatic when Grace discovered she was pregnant with her first child. Grace had always wanted to be a mother, but after her baby was born, things changed. She developed postpartum depression, and both her personal life and professional life were in tatters. Grace believed getting back to work would help, so she and John decided to hire a babysitter. They chose a young woman named Anna, who came highly recommended. Though Anna seemed capable, soon after hiring her, Grace noticed that she was quite flirty with John. She tried to believe it was just a side effect of her postpartum depression, but soon discovered John and Anna acting suspiciously. Grace had just given birth, and Anna was a pretty, young, fun-loving woman. Obviously, when Grace compared herself to Anna, she didn't feel very secure. Did she have any reason to worry? Grace wasn't sure if she should bring up Anna to her husband. She didn't want to start anything, and she didn't want John to think she didn't totally trust him. Instead, she had to come up with a plan. Grace's plan was to set up hidden cameras in the house. She believed that if something was going on between John and Anna, she would get proof on film. When she started to review the footage, she noticed some strange things. After a week, Grace finally saw that John and Anna were in a room together, and they were very close to each other. She saw them, on film, walking toward each other. Grace braced herself for the worst-case scenario. As Grace watched the screen, it was obvious that something was going on between John and Anna. The young babysitter kept moving closer to Grace's husband. Grace leaned into the screen, but then was startled by a knock at the door. Grace opened the door, and Anna was standing in front of her. She had come to get her weekly babysitting payment. As Grace walked to get her purse to pay Anna, John walked in. He insisted on paying Anna himself and then walked her out to her car. Grace couldn't believe what she was seeing. She knew that she didn't look like she used to before having the baby and that John was an attractive, successful man. Was he cheating on her with Anna? Grace was on high alert. As Grace watched Anna and John walk to the car, she could see Anna was acting weird. First, she had on a very revealing little black dress, and second, she soon saw Anna place her hand on John's arm, not realizing Grace was watching. Grace saw Anna gesture to her dress like she was showing it off to John, and then she stepped even closer to Grace's husband. Suddenly, Grace noticed a change in their body language. John started raising and moving his arms, and Anna suddenly looked very sad. Grace couldn't hear what was being said, but she could see Anna crying. Then, John turned and stomped back inside. Grace heard the door slam, and she ran to John. What happened? She asked. I fired her, John replied. Grace was suddenly shocked. What? Why? John immediately told Grace that Anna had made him feel uncomfortable. She flirted with me all of the time, John said. I was very uncomfortable with her around. I told her to stop, but it just got worse, so I fired her. Grace had to come clean. She told John that she had noticed the flirting and that she was afraid something was going on between them. It was also time to tell John about the secret cameras and the spying. As Grace spoke, she began to cry. She told John about her insecurities and how she didn't feel attractive since having the baby. Then, she said having Anna around just made her feel worse about herself. Though John was shocked by what his wife had to say, he totally understood why having Anna around would rouse suspicion. He told Grace that he loved her and that he would never cheat on her. Grace was relieved. After talking to John, Grace decides to get help. She soon realized that she wasn't alone and up to 20% suffer from postpartum depression. She started taking some medication and John was extremely supportive. About a month after seeing her doctor, Grace began to feel better. 
she had started a healthier lifestyle and was once again feeling happy. The couple even hired a new babysitter to help care for the baby. Within a year, Grace was able to get off of the medication, and she couldn't believe how good she felt. She had lost her baby weight, and her and John were like newlyweds once again. Her goal, now, was to help other women who were going through something similar. Postpartum depression is common, and it is a serious medical condition that affects millions of women. Those who experience this condition may feel helpless and like they have no hope of feeling better. The best way to treat postpartum depression is a two-fold approach, with medication and talking to a mental health professional. Support groups can also be very helpful for women going through this, as they can see they are not alone. Many people have security cameras in their homes, and they pick up all kinds of creepy things like this stay-at-home father who was trying to give his working wife a good scare. If you have a camera in your home, you need to be aware that they can be hacked if someone wants to get into them. Here, we see a shot of a news story about this happening. In this case, the hacker was speaking to the child through the camera. Here we see two boys sleeping in a bed. It looks like a little brother crawled into bed with his big brother. However, this isn't what happened at all. The family who shared this only has one boy, and they have no idea who the other child is. On this picture, we see a woman standing in front of the camera. Except this didn't happen at all. After a terrifying incident believing someone was in their child's room, the family found out it was the neighbor's security camera feed playing on their monitor. In this story, we hear about a mother who was awoken in the middle of the night to some strange music coming from her baby's room. It turned out that the camera in here was hacked and the hacker was playing music. This baby Connor was seen on camera walking and balancing on his crib while crying for his mother. The parents in this video don't hear their son and eventually he falls backwards back into the crib. It is all caught on video. This is a still frame from a video showing nothing, really. The backstory is that the people in the video claim they live in a haunted house. There is nothing on camera, no movement at all. Yet somehow, at the end of the clip, all of the doors and windows were open. This shot of a camera shows a spooky orb moving and hovering around a sleeping baby. The bright light moves and jumps around the screen before appearing to be absorbed by the baby's body. Many children have an invisible friend, but in this case, one child's friend might have been caught on camera. If you examine this shot, what do you think? Is it a trick of the light or something more sinister? Here we see an elderly woman leaning over a baby's crib. This might not be unusual, except for this. The woman in the video is believed to be the grandmother of the baby. However, she passed away before the baby was born. Home invasions are a terrifying thought, and for this woman, it became reality. A man broke into her house in the middle of the day and brutally beat her. It was all caught on film, and the man was later arrested. A man in the Czech Republic was setting up his new camera when he saw something terrifying. The camera picked up a different frequency, and he could see two boys chained up in a dark basement. He called the police and his neighbor ended up getting arrested for locking up and torturing her sons. Finally, we have this terrible sight, a nanny beating her young charge after the child refused to eat. When the father returned home, he noticed some bruises on his young toddler. After checking the camera, he saw this horrible scene. 